Florida QB will rear suspended for one year. Five things to know quarterback will rear has been suspended one calendar year for violating the NCAA's banned substance policy. Greer apologized for the incident during a press conference on Monday, a day after Jim McElwain was made aware of the violation. I took an over-the-counter supplement that had something in it, and I did not check with the medical staff before taking it, a teary-eyed Greer said. I really hope that people can learn from this, learn from my mistake. I'm really sorry to everyone, just really sorry. McElwain confirmed that Greer won't play this week and obviously in the near future because of the suspension which Florida will appeal. Sophomore Treon Harris, the starter in six games last season and the season opener against New Mexico State, will be the Gators' starting quarterback against LSU this weekend and moving forward. Josh Grady, a graduate transfer from Vanderbilt, will be Harris' backup. Here are three things to know about what this means for Florida and Greer, moving forward. 1. Florida's SEC East title chances lie with Treon Harris. Given the state of the SEC East, Florida's status as the division front-runner might not be shaken by this obviously significant development. The front-loaded conference schedule has the Gators at 4-0 in SEC play with head-to-head -head wins against Tennessee, Kentucky and Missouri. If Harris can get Florida a win in the Georgia game, it might be enough to lock up a spot in Atlanta. Right now, with both Greer and Bulldogs running back Nick Chubb out of the game, Florida Georgia looks like it will open somewhere around a pick'em. Harris started the last six games of 2014 and the first game of 2015 before Greer took hold of the starting job against Tennessee in Week 3, the game Harris missed because of a suspension. The sophomore was much better as a runner than a passer 49.6% pot.